Good afternoon, this is Bob Iacchino coming to you from the CME Group Trading Floor in Chicago talking metals. Let's look at copper futures today. Big copper rebound today, up over, two, well, about 2% in toward the close, up above $3.13 on the NYMEX copper. Now, copper is still down as of yesterday, right around 5% on the year, but up eight of the last session, eight of the last 10 sessions with today being the biggest update since mid-February. Now, a lot of that drive came on President Xi Jinping of China's comments at the Bao Conference in China. He said, and I'm paraphrasing, that they're going to be very open, much more open as an economy than they were before. They're going to reduce the requirements for foreign investors, as well as increasing imports from other countries and put in new uh, intellectual property protections they hadn't had before. Now, those in China are saying these are not new announcements, but they're being taken very well by markets. It's not just copper that's up. Equity markets are up. Crude oil's up. Uh, most of the major industrial commodities are up. And this is all based on this sort of renewed openness and cooperation. We had some of the softer trade talk from President Trump and Chief White House, White House Economic Advisor Larry Kudlow over the weekend, and now this from President Xi. And those comments are really driving copper and commodities in general quite a bit higher. Now, the dollar correlation that we normally see has kind of broken down the last three days. We've had three consecutive down days in the dollar index, and copper's been pretty mixed. Now, that's not a correlation you want to ignore. It is the correlation that is effective when all else is equal. But given some of the sort of outside factors that's been driving commodity prices, both to the upside and to the downside, that correlation has broken down a little bit. We have not been looking to the dollar for direction on metals, and that includes copper. But that will take hold again once all else is equal, once the political spectrum has taken itself out of commodity trading. But having said that, up eight out of 10 days and up 2% in copper today. This is Bob Iacchino talking copper futures from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.